but uh, let me go ahead and do this one last problem. Um, and this is a, a double unit conversion. Okay, it says the density of iron is 65.68 pounds per gallon. All right, now uh, pounds per gallon is actually a, a commonly used uh, unit for density in the English system. Um, but in the, in, the, in the lab, we're more familiar with grams per milliliter. Okay, so we're gonna do a little calculation to convert the pounds per gallon to grams per milliliter. That's what it's asking. What is this expressed as grams per milliliter? Okay, so how do we go about doing this? We have what we're given, what we want to get, so the question is how do we get there? All right, so you know I've got density, so this is mass over volume. Gallons is volume, like your gallon milk jug. It's the volume of milk, and pounds is weight. When you step on the bathroom scale, you're measuring your weight. That's pounds, um, and uh, for our purposes, weight and mass, we're going to treat those as the same thing. So we see that uh, we can convert the weight or the mass units to mass units, so pounds to grams, and then the volume to volume units, the gallons to milliliters. All right. So I uh, I know the conversion between pounds and grams, so that's just one step. I used that one up in the first problem. Now gallons to milliliters, hmm, I don't know that one offhand, but I do know gallons to liters and from liters I can get to milliliters. All right. So this is a two-step problem and we're going to do um, both of them uh, kind of together. All right. So first, now that we've, we have our road map, we're going to go pounds to grams, gallons to liters to milliliters. We need to find those conversion factors. Okay. So pounds to gram, uh, you might need to look that one up. I don't expect you to have that one memorized. One pound equals 454 grams. By the way, you're always welcome to memorize it, but you don't have to. <laughs> okay. Then uh, gallons to liters. How many liters are in a gallon? Again, not one that uh, I uh, care if you have memorized. But um, this one you see often enough because if you look on the rim of your gallon jug of milk, it says indented on the plastic, um, one gallon, and then in parentheses, 3.785 liters. Okay, so that's actually um, how I became familiar with that, was just looking at the gallon jugs all the time, 3.785 um, meters. All right. So there's that conversion. Now we have the last one, metric to metric. That one you do need to know. Milliliters and liters. There's a thousand milliliters in a liter. Milli is a thousandth of a liter or a thousandth. Um, so there's a thousand milliliters to one liter. Okay. So, let's start with what we're given here. 65.68 pounds per gallon. Okay, now I've written it kind of uh, in, in that fractional format, um, whereas before we just put a 1 under there. But since I have fractional units, I'll put the unit on the bottom, and that will help to keep things separate. Okay? So, first, let's convert the pounds. It doesn't matter what we do first, but let's do the pounds first. So I'm going to put this one in. Remember the interlocking train car. Um, I have to get those units to be on the opposite sides. So uh, pounds must be on, uh, on the bottom there. So one pound 
is 454 grams and uh, now my pounds cancels and I have at this point if I did my calculation I'd have the density expressed as grams per gallon okay so I'm halfway there I just need grams per milliliter okay so now let's put in my next conversion factor one gallon is 3.785 liters so where does a gallon need to go well it's on the bottom here so it's got to go on the opposite side one gallon to 3.785 liters all right so now um, it doesn't matter that I have something in between because uh, by the uh, associative property I think it is or something like that um, it doesn't matter if I multiply this one first and then that one or that one and then this one um, they're the same thing so either way mathematically that's going to work out and as long as I've got this on top and that on bottom they will cancel all right so now at this point if I did my calculation I have grams per liter okay so just one last step to convert that into um, milliliters on the bottom I have liters down there so I need liters up here one liter is a thousand milliliters and uh, so now my liters will cancel and at this point when I do the calculation I'll have grams per milliliter and that's what I want okay so um, let's just go ahead and plug this into our calculator we have 65.68 um, times 454 divided by 3.785 and then divided again by a thousand and we end up with 7.878 um, and we will um, limit this to three significant figures okay now I was given four and if this were a chem 21 question you would stick with four even though you use 454 here um, really what I should have done is found this conversion factor to at least one or two more um, decimal places and then uh, and then I'd have um, less rounding errors but we'll just go with this and limit it to three significant figures so that'll be 7.88 grams per milliliter okay so I hope this um, has been helpful in uh, your practice with conversions